Hey guys, welcome back to today's episode of Jaffo Plays. We are still playing Massive Darkness, quest number three, The Chosen One. I am still here with the Red Laser Panda Melina. She has been playing me, playing with me, playing uh, Whisper once again, as you've seen in previous cool seasons. Let's get you a little bit closer there. You can see some of the damage that is being done. We don't need to worry about the first stage. We're heading to stage three and four. We have two-thirds of our objective, which Melina is holding. We need to get to that last remaining token down there. We need to get her out of the exit, and we win. We've been doing pretty good so far, guys. Um, I, I, I yeah. Knock on wood, I expect us to fail miserably in a minute or two. Um, okay, so that's where we start. We begin today with Melina's turn. Okay, so I counted out that my entire turn I can get to here and get to everything. <laughs> Does that include experience or what? Well, it's one, one, two, three. It's one, one, one two, two, three. One, one two, two, and scoop is three. That's two more level three treasures. Some chainmail armor. And some healing potions. You might want to save a couple of those because I think it's going to get hairy in a minute. Well, that's two healing potions. One, two. One, two. I can stand on you at least. So one, two. One, two. One, two. Boom. I don't have any actions left. Can't take your stuff from you. The enemy phase. Well, if I really they don't want have to... one. No, it's good. I'll but get it from you. I start next turn. True. I'll just start with an activation of taking your stuff. <laughs> have um, a fire sword. Yeah, I'll give you a light mace for your new flaming sword because your flaming sword seems freaking amazing. I would like to find a level 5 version of that, please. Yeah, that'd be um, nice. So that's the end of the hero phase. We then move to the event phase, or to the enemy phase. Uh, we there then move, which once again, there are none. We've actually we then been move doing to. Good. There's got to be bad stuff coming soon, guys. And. No, nice. no, there isn't. <laughs> Event phase. Hey, remember those token, or those treasure tokens? We're getting two more of them. So we'll just put those right there. There you go. You get some more loot right I don't away. even have to create a reorganized trade action then because when I pick it up, it automatically creates one. Ha! Huh. There you we go. We then go to the end phase. The end phase is I get the big old token. We then start Did the Did you next. have experience that you could spend? I have, but I never got more. I'm waiting to get ten more to get me the shield bearer ability. Okay. What are you at? Eight. I need Eight. two more. I need to kill two goobers or a big goober. Either one, I need to kill some goobers, guys. We it's need like, to I'm kill some goobers. I'm at one, so I at least have a uh, uh, free movement action if Yep. Needed. Well, I've got enough to make mine, which gives me essentially the free movement type action. If you're within one zone of me as uh, when you're attacked, I can place myself into there and take the damage. So we'll start with my turn. I'll spend a movement action to go one... That gets me. Spear of Impalement. What does that do? Uh, it's a range 0 to 1 melee weapon. Attack plus 1 attack die. Hmm. Gloves of Fast Hands. Neat. Plus 1 reorganizer trade action. <laughs> Guess what I'm going to wear. So then if the guys watching are realize we're cheating when I do this... I'll just put my gloves of fast hands on, which is an automatic reorganized action for me. Yeah. And I will go one, two for your flaming sword. And then I will put that in my hand. And then we'll see as I move it up, you'll see. Oh, it falls. <laughs> you'll see that I am a blender a flaming swordy goodness. I can't wait. I must once, kill once things. Once I have the option, I'd be able to. <sighs> so that was one action or one movement. Oh, I should probably finish my movement. My movement will be to go here. Might as well open the door closer to us. Oh, that was my first movement action. So then I will use my reorganize. Oh, I can't do that, though, can I? What? So never mind. My for next action will be to start moving. Well, do we want to move the back door or the front door? I like darkness. You like darkness. Darkness is good. So I'll run away here. Even so though it doesn't matter for you to, when you go in here because you have the ring. Right. Um, no, what I was warned, one or was fixing that I'm the mistake. I think we were gonna make is I think you don't have to, you don't get to save your movement points and get to organize in between. So because we traded, 
I have to stop my one action and start a but trade that action. A free trade? I uh, know. Well, it's I get plus one trade actions, but I have to stop my movement action, which was to pick up treasures. So I think to make it safe, I'll have to spend action number okay. two to go one and kick. Open the door. Get on the floor. What are what is gonna kill us now? We're gonna need a guard card. However, we've got <laughs> we've got flying cards is what we've got. We've got guard cards. We've got two, three, three. So we got more treasures coming at us and a guard in that front door. Okay. So two guard being the goblin arches. Three. How Range. Many? Uh, it's two times. So we get all five that I have prepped. Yeah. <laughs> So it's range bam plus two swords, range diamond plus two swords. All right, so two blue. it was one to wait. They also need one to that and that. I'm not gonna have enough to kill them, but I would rather them stick me with a sword. Yeah, and shoot you. It's one red versus the two yellow. And so one red. move my dude into that space. And what? Oh, what they're is gonna there get a level three treasure loot. <laughs> I want this, but they are, are, are gonna, we gonna get die. To, well, they're going to attack diamond plus two bams. It's a ring of power. It's meant for mages, but if that they can get them. it, uh, that gives them, with an attack diamond, they can diamond into a bam, which gives them plus two, or they can get plus two. Either way, they can get, they, they have get additional ways to get plus two swords. Um, I'm going to move in and jump on top of them, and they're going to see me light my little flamey sword, because I'm going to do it like a lightsaber thing, and it'll go <laughs> boom, and it'll whoosh. That's what it's totally going to do. It's totally not walking around with a giant flaming popsicle stick because I don't think that's actually safe. That's just not not safe, guys. Yeah. You don't want to walk around with a flaming popsicle stick. Not a good suggestion. Well, first um, of all, if it was a popsicle stick, it'd be a piece of wood that you light on fire. Which would work. I don't see the problem here. But <laughs> it is your turn. It is. So slide back and shoot them. Up. Uh, they are going to get this. I get two red. And you are going to get this. They have no defensive abilities, so... Good! Woo! And you take what? Minus three shields, I believe? Yep. For being in shadow? Alright, so one moment to get you there. Your second action is to uh, crush, kill, destroy. Holy crap. I don't yeah, know if you guys can see that. That's nothing. Well, here. The total <laughs> dice so that you guys can see our... Oh my god. What, what, what did I get? Two diamonds. Well, that's plus two wounds automatically. Okay, so the that that is going to get us uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, and two wounds. Because of the diamond. That's enough for all four of those goblins. Make sure you gain your four uh, XP. Yep, I was at one. Bumped me up to five. Nice. Um, and that was one action. Yeah. Or two actions. One to yep, move, two. two to shoot. Shoot again. Yeah. Even half as good as that, and he's toast. Pretty much just have to hit him. Yeah. She rolled the same things, guys. That's six more wounds. We both get three XP. One, two, three. Ah, that means I get a level that I want. Sweet. But yeah, he goes away. He goes away. We put him with his guys. He goes away. And that would be the end of your turn. <gasps> I get to be the loot and scoot. So what do I got there? Two? Two. So we'll spend one action. Pick up two. One. Cold iron armor. Ooh, that's a new one. What does it do? Uh, two green for a defensive bam. Cancel, a def cancel an attack bam for a defensive diamond. Cancel an attack diamond. Hmm. That's pretty interesting. And two gets us whoosh, composite bow. Ooh. Three, three yellow. Uh, attack Mind bam. Number. May re-roll any number of defense dice one intentional time. I still like mine better. So that's one one act one movement point of my act, movement action. So then my second one will push me into there. I'll spend another action to pick up three more. three items. I'm just gonna pile them. There. Gives oh, me I'm five stack of threes. <laughs> that's uh, that gives <laughs> me five treasures. So the first five treasures that I get are here. They aren't much of anything for us. Yeah. So I'm going to take three of these. As, as much as the flame bow is okay, I'll I take prefer three of the these. javelin because it, uh, it does wounds as long as I can get A stuff. wand of stupor. 
nothing good for me. I'm going to actually pitch that and the two other items that I, well, hold on, I'll wait and see what I get. My last movement action will be to pick up all of these tokens. Let's take the left plus. So, I get this, which goes to her. However, we've got enough pieces to assemble the artifact. So, let's do the artifact first. Let's do the crazy piece. She's going to get Berserker's Gauntlets. You're going to get a defense plus two. Ooh. And you, when you do a melee action, you get plus what melee plus three swords. Too bad you're not a melee character. Like, but I get three melee. more treasure chests. But I could technically melee if I really wanted to. Right? <laughs> I, I got a great axe. Well, that character is actually buildable to go melee or bow. We've always gone bow. So I, I don't know if we shuffle these or not, but I'm going to shuffle them and take three more treasure cards because we ran out of a treasure deck. I do know when the guard card's empty, if you empty the level one, you start fighting level two regardless. Makes sense. We got a dagger, sure strike, orb of dark light, and a scepter. Nothing we want to see. So we're immediately going to transfer, transmute those into a meteor hammer. Ooh, what does that do? Two-handed weapon, attack... Bam, defender minus one shield, uh, att attack, defense, defender minus one defense die, just like your meteor javelin was. Um, That's almost, it's like that's almost better than the great axe. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Eh. No, I think the great axe is better. That is the end of my turn. That is the end of Melina's turn. We then move to the enemy phase. There is none. Oh, hey, look at this. You gain the ring of power. Goblin archers are dead. See, Can we I keep have forgetting. Multiple thingies? Yes. So let's attack diamond plus two bams. Yep. As much um, as that's an okay thing, it almost be better for you. Yes. Although not so much now that I'm not that when I had that dual sword bam sword axe bam combination, that was pretty cool. Um, yeah, but doesn't your fire sword do bams? It does bams and diamonds for plus swords and plus plus diamonds. It yeah. doesn't really matter to me. Uh, that is the end of mine. The, I, we I moved into the enemy phase. The enemy phase. Good if you had like something that they're meant. Like they're bam. meant for wizards. If when we're done, when we're done for today's up or this week's episode or today's episode, actually, if you want to take a look at the wizard later, um, you'll see I, very I think quickly. I might try him. There you'll see very quickly that he's all about getting BAMs. And if you can't get the BAMs, he's useless. So it's kind of how it works, sadly. Um, that is that. We got no enemies. We got experience phase. We've got one of those. I'm spending 10 to gain shield bearer. Shield bearer gives me plus one attack, plus one defense. Um, so I might just... Do the safe shot ranged bam minus one. Sounds good to me. Shield. I don't need these treasures sitting here though, because we don't. Otherwise, have I could do the overkill attack plus one wound if no shield, or I could wait till two and then get the better slippery. Whatever works for you, kiddo. Um, I think I'm gonna go with overkill. Attack plus one wound if no shield. Sounds good. Um, cuz I guess that's pretty much all my character's phase. built to do is just get rid of all your shields and I will do as much damage as possible. We skip we must have skipped something. <clears throat> I took an extra turn that I wasn't supposed to. No. Cuz I killed everything here. You but took I, But I held this token. I ran and opened the door. You killed everything there. I wasn't supposed to get all that stuff. <laughs> you were supposed to. We skipped a whole turn somewhere. And I just realized it, because I'm holding this, which means I started the turn. Remember, this is why we have what I call the idiot marker. It's for the idiots, and apparently I'm the idiot today. <laughs> I guess we're an idiot. Um, so I guess that will just... I t you're going to have to go that way. Uh, I guess hold yourself at that black spot, and that's where we'll keep you. We're here? Yeah, that way you stay in shadow, but don't flip to four, otherwise it changes all the treasure that we draw. Because we would draw level 4 treasures. Oh, crap. Hold on. We need to fix stuff. All right. Apparently, we need to rewind some things. Yeah, because you have the artifact now. And I believe, as soon as you get the artifact, yeah, the two new things spawn us something to kill. See, this is what happens when we start thinking we're doing good and we get excited when the Chosen Run receives the artifact card. Well, hold on. The three artifact piece, the three pieces of the artifact are represented by the artifact and library tokens. And if, when any of these tokens are picked up, discard them. When all three have been picked up, draw a random artifact and give it to the package carrier. We're making Melina that one. 
When the Chosen One receives the artifact, spawn two roaming monsters at the Lair Token Zones. These enemies do not count as roaming monsters. We're still level three. So, you're here. I'm there. Um, all of this crap has to go back. So, we'll just delete this. We'll delete this. And we'll reload all of that. Uh, oh no! You would be you would be in there, and I would be there. That would be what it have to be. Hold yeah. on, because so, you wouldn't have that green t or that gray token yet. We skipped a whole freaking turn, so yeah. it's two, three, and three. I'm short. Fill up the fill up this pile. So we'll skip I don't want this, the door. back this, we'll... But I, oh, did I give you a door? Oh. No, I. Right. it just, because of where stuff landed... I know what we did wrong. We skipped, like, a whole freaking turn. Or at least the back half of a turn. We do have the experience. Mm -hmm. I am able to get Shield Bear. You are able to get your safe shotty type ability. No, I got... Or whatever you got. Your slippery, safety, attacky, kill things and make them... Overkill. Bleed. So then we gotta go with one of these. We get a four monster patrol. We do get a roaming monster. Spawn a level a, a level gray. Yep. Roaming monster. We found the ogre mog. The ogre mage. And it's forward monster, so it's going to start here. And they're going to get one of those. What did he come with? A uh, great sword. Oh. So in melee, he throws three yellow dice. And Isn't this it. what we had last time? Probably. He found a sword and was better. In me melee than he is in mage. Yeah. That's okay. It happens sometimes. He um, found his way back. I thought we killed him. Pretty much. So then we're going to go. This gets passed to you. All right. <laughs> it looks like that is the end of the round. We will begin again tomorrow. Come back tomorrow. Find out what happens. We now have an ogre mage with a great sword bearing down on us. We are almost to where the... Uh, Artifact is, had we not cheated and opened the wrong freaking door and stuff, um, we would have had all of that taken care of. <sighs> and the game uh, over. We will be back with more exciting. Can we get the artifact and escape properly without cheating this time? <laughs> um, I don't know if we can. I don't think we can. Let's not find out. Come back tomorrow and find out what happens on Jaffo Plays.